I want you to imagine yourself, to imagine yourself on stage, behind the curtains, backstage, having people watch you perform. I want you to think about the family and the friends and your peers watching you perform. I want you to imagine how wonderful you're going to feel and the excitement and the hairs on your arm and the hairs on the back of your neck. They're just going to stand straight up because you're going to be watched and you're going to be performing and you're going to make history. High School Ahead Academy is an innovative program that allows overage middle schoolers to catch up. I looked at the uh, master schedule for the campus and noticed that the students had no extracurricular activities. They were in 90 minute uh, block classes and the only thing that was offered for them during the 45 minute period that was mandatory for the teachers to have a break was a speech class, a computer math lab, which was strenuous, and a gym class. It's a very unique school and right now it doesn't include the arts and one of the things that their fine principal and faculty wanted to do is find some way to integrate the arts into their classrooms. We are at about 50 percent um, African American and 50 percent Hispanic. Economic background, a lot of them come from what they would call the hood. When I'm coming to them with poetry, and they, that's the last thing that's on their mind. The challenges that I had with my students is that before I could get them to learn, I always had to deal with their issues, just issues of life. We deal with a lot of death and dying. We also have students that are from single parent homes. We have students that have been neglected um, by their homes. For me, I believe the toughest challenge working with my group of kids was getting them to believe in themselves. You can have these blocks, but you have to find a way to get by them. That's part of being an artist, is find how to get past those, those uh, hurdles. Who could imagine kids like us could perform at the House of Blues? Here at High School Ahead, we're working with an arts integration project that involves uh, a group of artists coming in and using their medium to work in classrooms. One reason I like using the drums is because they're so universal. Every culture, every, everybody have drums. Uh, and then drums being one of the oldest forms of communication, uh, it just it lends itself to almost any environment. Go to Ogado, goom, goom. Go to Ogado, goom, goom. Go to Ogado, goom, goom. The Godo sounds played. Did we talk about that? How you create the Godo sound? The Godo sound is played on the edge. You're going to have four on here and then two in the middle. First of all, I want to give them courage to make a sound by telling them how to do it. And that's with the correct breathing technique, which is the same breathing technique that yogis use, that athletes use. Uh -huh. So let's see a good posture. Let's see, everybody. Shit. Stir them up. This is your sternum, this bone right here. Right here. Right here. Sternum. sternum. Yeah. Look how you feel when you hold that up. It's different than when we draw this. Exactly. 
Okay, so now show me your breath. When your sternum's up, your ribs. Your ribs are lifted up. Oh, that looks very good. Your ribs now aren't crunching your lungs, and you can use your diaphragm to fill the air. Okay. You know, it's it's in, with me. in, it goes out. Go. You wouldn't even doing that. In, out. What is your name? Decori. That is perfect. How about some posture here? No. When you fill up, see if you lift this, it doesn't have to fill, go up and down. We don't want this going up and down. It's already up. The only thing we want moving is this. No. So put your hand here so we can see it. Now watch what he did. Oh. Nope. Do it the other way. In. No, in it goes out. You did it early, you have to think. So it's like this. <laughs> oh, there he goes. See, now he got his hand to think about it. So when you breathe, when you breathe in, this is going to go out. So you feel like look, the air is going to drop straight down to your lungs and go out. I exposed the students to the screen printing process. Now, this was something they was not uh, familiar with, so there was a lot of questions about it. There was a lot of, actually a lot of doubt about it. But I tried to uh, encourage them to uh, just allow me to instruct them, and they will see that it's a very easy process. It's something well within their capabilities. And believe me, there's no other students in this school more qualified than you all. In other words, what if a whole different group of students was in this room right now? Okay, they'd be faced with the same challenge. Are they any more qualified than you all? No. And for some reason, you all are the ones that have been put in this position. So what you gotta do now is rise to the occasion. Rise to the challenge. You have a challenge that's been put in front of you, believe me. Is it? We'll make a shirt. Alright. All right. Now remember, you don't have to cut these things off and start to finish in one piece. <laughs> cut out the parts and put the parts together to make up the image that you're trying to do. Okay. I think we're rolling. I think we're rolling. I think we're rolling. I hope that there is going to be a, a more flexibility in who they feel they are, more con uh, confidence in going out into the world and being able to experience something new. So go ahead and be ready. We're going to go through our songs. Joshua, do you remember Joshua? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Joshua fit the battle. This song is boys. Think about this. Joshua is going to break down the wall simply by shouting. It's going to turn to dust. And then we use the music to do what? Go to Selma. And we are going to march for civil rights together and by shouting, segregation wall will fall. That's why the song's going to move from the old song to the new song. Now, do you have the words marching round Selma? Let's just memorize them so we don't have to worry about it. Marching round Selma like Jericho. Say that. Marching round Selma like Jericho. Everybody say that. Marching round Selma like Jericho. Just have to say it. Jericho, Jericho. Then marching round Selma like Jericho for segregation wall must fall. Do you remember last week we did segregation wall must fall? What the poem is about is um, de taking different steps to success. Um, success is, uh, is, is something that's, uh, uh, that's not measured by, that's not measured by uh, anything physical or anything material, but it's measured by what you want and what you call for as success. I'm really excited about this collaboration with uh, the words that they came up with and, um, and the beat that y'all gonna be doing. Um, they're not going to be rapping. They're going to be uh, it's going to be poetry, but it's still going to be uh, it's going to be extremely rhythmic. And uh, I just want to uh, prepare y'all for for um, 
we're still working on some some of the lines because the class wanted to add the input in. Just dramas, come on, man. Sure, we want the kids to try. Sure, we, we want them to try. We want them to be excited. We want them to give their best. And sometimes it requires giving them a good understanding of why they should try, why they should give their best, why they, why all of that's important. You know, um, I think my challenges, and I, I, or maybe the challenges with the entire groups coming together for this especially for this production that we're going to be doing at the Inter Inter International House of Blues, um, is just, just getting them to, to really believe, but also getting them to understand that there's structure to all of this and that going up on stage doing the theatrical production really requires everybody being disciplined. Everybody in position, please. Everybody in position. Have you all finished? The choir comes out. The choir finishes. Spoken word group comes out. This. Go back to the drum call at the end. Choir, be ready. Everybody bow. Choir, be ready. So look at the drummers. Here we go. We're done. We need the time here to see if we're under 20 minutes. Or at least around 20 minutes. All right? Straight through. No stopping. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. No stopping. States was actually the screen printing. And this actually got more interesting to the students as they went along because they had saw themselves with a success at that stage of the process. Good shot. Hold it steady. And some shots to show the full body of the person, too. But that's the whole idea, and as I explained to the students, simplicity is what we want because through simplicity we get impact, and that's what we want our art designs to have. This, every, every different group has their uniform, okay? So we're going to do white tees and khaki pants. Very important. No underwear showing young men. You got to make sure to have a belt on. Everybody has to look presentable. So this is, this is what we did, the artists. This is the shirt for the poets. So you all will be wearing green. Do you like it? Very good. This shirt is for the choir. Right? Okay, choir has purple. Alright, where's the choir? That's y'all right there, see? Very good. Here we are. This is for the drummer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, drummer. Here we go. Young audience provided this opportunity and brought it to life on our campus. We pulled together the groups that were sympathetic to this cause, young audiences of course, uh, the House of Blues, uh, Musica, Writers in the Schools, uh, Metaphor Houston. The House of Blues opened their world-class stage to us and all of these students got to perform at the House of Blues at a public concert.
No one's going to think that kids from high school ahead academy can do what we're going to do. People are, gonna, are doubting. They don't even know that we've got talent. They're thinking, oh, these kids are just behind. These kids don't have anything. They've got nothing to show. They've got nothing to prove. We're going to prove them wrong. So open your eyes. Open your eyes, and now I want you to know that this is going to happen, and this is going to make everyone get stand up and applaud. Let's welcome High School Ahead Academy. changes that I've noticed is that the students are a little bit more lighthearted. I want to say it's because they found a way to express themselves through the music and then connecting it to the academics. I think the biggest improvement I saw was probably in their writing itself. Um, like I said, a lot of our students are very hesitant to write, and the products I received from them for writing assignments was more, it was more in depth, there were more details, they expressed themselves in a better way. They grow, you know, not just academically, but schools are going to see that this is a major component for the students that are obviously at risk and would never have this opportunity if it wasn't presented to them at their campus. People are going to be proud about what we are doing and that we did it. Who knew that nonviolence was a useful and tactful tool? But music. Music was so powerful that it was overwhelming. The very thing that would get you prepared for battle was what the civil rights movement relied on during the battle. If a student is not understanding something and there's a way that I can bring it in with the drums or you know have them write about it um, in a poem um, instead of just you know a typical narrative but there's another way that I can present this information to them then it's going to just excel them academically. I do feel like the kids who did not get an opportunity to participate some of them have asked is it going to be something that we could do um, you know are they still going to have it in the couple of weeks or is it going to be something that it's going to be for next year and that kind of thing and I hear the kids talking about it and they're saying oh well I wish I would have done it. What will the students take away from the art program here? I think that they will be armored with tools that can take them on for the rest of their life. And the interviews with the students and the surveys and the journals that they kept it all showed how how this was permeating every part of their life. It made them want to go to school, which helped with our attendance. It made them want to succeed, which helped with our dropout rates. It's a win-win. How could you not have such an, an, a phenomenal program to develop a culture of uh, well-rounded students that w care about themselves and about their peers?
So what was the one thing that changed that school to help improve all those statistics? It was the arts.